Hey guys, it's DJ Randiz in the house. Today we're going to show you how to adjust the BPM using the pitch slider as well as showing you how to use and when to use the pitch lock. So to get started, let's make sure you have a track loaded in and let's go ahead and get to your turntable screen and press play. To be a great DJ, you need to know how to mix well and to mix well, you need to know how to change the tempo or the BPM of a track. To adjust the BPM on the Go DJ, Simply place your finger on the pitch slider and scroll up or scroll down. When you scroll down, it increases the BPM, therefore speeding up the track. If you scroll up, it lowers the BPM and slows down the track. Sometimes changing the BPM on the touchscreen panel is not that simple. So we've created another way where you can simply put your finger on the pitch slider and adjust the BPM with the function knob and kind of fine tune it for precision. To reset the track back to its original BPM, simply hold the pitch lever and press down on the function knob. Now your track will be playing at its original speed. If you aren't satisfied with the tempo ranges that are given, simply go to your settings by scrolling all the way to the right, click on control and adjust your tempo range Let's take a closer look at how to adjust this. You will need to use your finger to slide and adjust the tempo range. Setting your tempo range can vary depending on how you mix your music. If you don't see yourself adjusting the BPM of a track too often, we recommend that you stay on the lower end of the tempo range. But if you're a DJ that likes to mix fast and slow songs, we recommend that you put it at the highest setting and mix like so. So what is the pitch lock and when do you use it? And the best way to explain pitch lock is to really just to show you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the tempo range and speed up the tempo of the track. The pitch of the track will sound a little something like this. But when I turn the pitch lock on, it fixes the pitch of the song and prevents that whiny and high pitch sound. So what do you think would happen if we lowered the BPM and turned the pitch lock off? Any ideas? Well, if you guessed correctly, then you know your voice will sound a little something like this. Let's lower the BPM and turn the pitch lock off. So now you should have a better understanding of what pitch lock is and when to use it. So now I'm going to show you how to beat match using the auto sync function. So to get started, we're going to have to load up tracks on both sides, and you'll see that both tracks have different BPMs. The objective for the DJ is to make sure that the BPMs match on both sides before mixing to the next track. This can be easily done with the Go DJ, and we're going to show you how. So to begin, we'll go ahead and press the play button. Fix my crossfader. So on the left side, we have a song playing, which we'll refer to as track A. If you look closely, you'll notice that there's a different BPM on track A versus track B. On track B, I'm going to turn on auto sync, and you'll notice that the BPM changes immediately. Now I'll start to play the track. Now if you listen very closely to both tracks, you'll notice that the songs are synced. Sounds pretty good, right? Some DJs don't prefer to use the auto sync because they feel that it's the lost skill in the art of DJing. Well, that's no problem because you can actually adjust and do everything manually as well. So let's go to our EQ screen. As you can see here, you got your pitch sliders, you've got your crossfaders that can allow you to mix, you got your high mids and lows, you got colored waveforms as well. So in order for me to beat match manually, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the auto sync, like so. 
When making pitch adjustments, simply click on the left and the right side, right next to the colored waveforms. When syncing two tracks together, make sure that you make the pitch adjustments so that the colored waveforms are pairing together. If you're not sure what the colored waveforms should look like, simply go back and turn Auto Sync on, and go back to your EQ screen, and take a look at the difference. By now you should have a better understanding of how to use your pitch locks as well as syncing your music. Hope you had a great time learning everything that we covered today. We got a lot more videos coming up so stay tuned. Thanks guys. See you soon.